Hi guys, well it's 7.50 in the morning on Saturday morning and um, I brought you to a little village called Eartham lovely little village I was going to go to another place but um, called Duncton going through here on the way to there I thought well this seems like a lovely place to film so you lumber with this one it's very very busy though as far as well, it's not busy, it's just that the, for the traffic, the lanes are narrow, there's no paths. But it's beautiful. Just listen to the birds. Absolutely stunning. It's worth coming out early in the mornings. The traffic isn't quite so bad and all the birds are out. Dawn chorus. It really is beautiful, so peaceful. No pheasant in the distance. Move over here because there's a car coming. Overgrown building there. That's a public footpath down there, but we're not going to do that one just yet, I don't think. Maybe later. <coughs> Is that bluebells or something coming out there? I look at the bottom of that tree. Chicken, cockerel in the distance. Earthen sawmill. Well, there is a public footpath down there, but we'll save that for another, another early morning. I think that's another walk entirely. <clears throat> Onwards and upwards. Garden house. Oh, 
How peaceful. Look at those lovely cottages. Cottages, I should say. It's all right, I'm cold. It's very sunny. It's The sun's warm on your skin, but there's a, quite a sharp nip in the air. It was frosty last night. Can you hear, hear the chicken? Blossom. Don't know if it's apple blossom or anything, or what kind of blossom it is. Oh, look at my little blossom. Quaint little steps leading up to the cottage. Tucked away like a little storybook house. like a nice little pub. Go and grab a pint. It's tempting but it's a bit early. early. Well as you can see all the blossoms are coming out now. We're another week on from the last video I done. makes a big difference as far as the flowers and the blossoms are concerned. Ah, uh, little sheep. Bar and mule. Oh. Now, again, I don't know if I should be in here. No, private, no parking. Strictly no admittance. Oh, it's tempting. There's a house nearby. There's nothing much there to see. So... The old bar lambs. Hello, little bar lambs. <sighs> and none of you are going to come over here and see me. Black faced bar lamb or black faced sheep. Black faced bar lamb. Listen to him. I do talk a lot of toddlers sometimes. It's beautiful here. <clears throat> There is a slight breeze, not much, but it's nippy.
It's an old looking house with the sun rising in the morning behind it. Probably an old farmhouse. Home farmhouse. There we go. <coughs> The farmers are up early and the car coming out <laughs> thank you <coughs> thank you <coughs> ah someone with a tractor and a sprayer fertilizer sprayer sun's shining right at me so don't know if you can see that very well. I can block that sun out, you might be able to see him. Big old fertilizer spreader on the back. seems to be thinning out as far as houses are only a small little village nice little farm though tidy Bit narrow again here. All the um, coloured flowers are coming out, and some of them dying off. The old daffodils. Again, little houses tucked away in the trees and the bushes. Some of these houses look like look, they've just come off the lid of a chocolate box. Flowers, colours, in fact I think these are weeds. <clears throat> Catch that sunlight glinting through the trees. Again, all I can hear is the bleating of sheep and the singing of birds.
I don't know if you can see it, there's a, a farmer on a little, um, on those dune buggy things, racing across the field over there. Checking his sheep. Must be lambing season, he's checking them out. Yeah, lots of young lambs over there. How lovely is that? <coughs> I know how cold it is. Well, that's it guys, that is the end of this little village, tiny, but um, made a really nice walk. Again, I've driven through here a few times, but I've never taken the time to actually walk through it and um, take note of it. And so here we are at the other end of Eartham. I just thought I'd come back to the car and um, I noticed there's another little another little part to the village so um, before we finish we'll have a look down here the local village church I always like to film churches because they are basically the hub of the community hub of the village they're the, probably the oldest buildings in the entire district. Lovely little quaint cottages. Look at that, how peaceful. What a lovely little house. Unusual grave in the local cemetery there. Little um, sort of sarcophagus thing. Perched up there like a teapot. It's on stands, four, four feet. You can see underneath it. <clears throat> this looks like the actual village. I, I almost missed this. Primroses. Sun's not shining on them, so you may not see them.
peaceful. So peaceful. Primrose is down there. They're in the shade at the moment, so. Blossoms coming out now. Oh, now that looks derelict. Wow. Doesn't look like anyone lives there. Oh, it's tempting. It's tempting. Oh, hang on. Please close the gate. Planning notice. I know we shouldn't be in here, but I can't resist it. Deserted. Oh, this is a little pot of gold to find to film. Deserted English garden. Look at the flowers. I would hazard a guess that the owner has died and the relatives are now selling it on. Shame. Such a shame. That comes to us all. There's a ball there which donates younger people maybe, could be grand from the grandchildren. Or maybe the house is just so old, it's been left to rack and ruin. Get in. Shame. Well, it looks like it was once a really lovely place. It appears to be condemned now. It looks as if they're going to knock it down and rebuild it. So. We can at least capture it before modern civilization comes in and wipes it off the surface of the earth. There's a little pond over there, a little frog pond.
little garden archway. How lovely is that? Old, but it's lovely. Oh, thistles in the garden. I would imagine this has been deserted for some time. But what a view they had. What a view. Well, I'm glad I found this. Primroses all over the ground. Garden backing up to the road. Lovely. Anyway, on with the walk. You've had a little explore. Apple tree coming up in bloom. <sighs> now it's time to exit. I'd have liked to have looked around it inside, but we're all locked up. Quite big inside. But yeah, definitely old people in there. Look at those chairs. It is actually. A very large property, very large, deceiving. What a beautiful place to live though. Peaceful. Please close the gate. I most certainly will. And off we jolly well go. A lot of land with that house. Not a cloud in the sky. Here in the world. Time now eight thirty AM. Tommy started to tell me breakfast. We'll be cooking soon back home, but I shan't be getting that till about midday.
Oh, look at that. There's some black sheep in amongst the trees. Can you see them? <laughs> I suppose they fatten those up and then knock them on the head and put them in deep freeze. Poor little fellas. Early morning sunrise coming up and we look like we've reached another end of the village. <coughs> There's only three roads coming in and out of this village and we've done a lot. Right, we've just left Eartham. That's the end of the village in this road. I'll just go down here because there's some old gates which look interesting. It looks like once that was a gateway into a garden or, or something. Now, these gates just seem to be left here derelict, like um, a bit of mist from the past. Must have led to somewhere, a garden or something. Now it's just stuck on the side of the road. Big old house there. Notice on the gate, have a look at that. Planning notice. Now that's still being lived in, so I'm not going to um, be silly enough to walk into there. As planning notice or not, it's it's not for me to walk through it. Oh, look at the size of this tree. Wow. That is a big tree. I know we've left Fittleworth, sorry, um, Eartham, but um, I know we've left Eartham, but it still looks quite interesting to walk down here. So I'll just do a little bit more, and then I think we'll call it a day. See the flowers through the through the trees there. I don't know if you can. Daffodils. These old old flint walls. I look at these flint walls and I always think back to like, I don't know, maybe hundreds of years ago, thinking the hands that touched those bricks and those stones and put them there. 
Every stone has a history to tell. Look at that. Mind you, by the look of these, some of these stone walls, bits of stone wall, they've been rebuilt. Probably where cars have bumped into them and knocked them down over the years. Right. Little bit more of a wonder. Well, we've come down a bit further down the road and found a bit more civilization here. A few more houses, old stone houses, flint stone houses, flint walls. A bit windy now, though. Wind seems to be picking up. These are old barns which have been turned into dwellings. That was an old barn, is now someone's house. Lovely old cottages again. They've probably been here for decades and decades and decades. That one's been built on at the back, but the original cottage is still just as beautiful. Makes you wonder why all those years ago, why they were built, probably farm dwellings for farm labourers and things. sheep over there. We're very sheltered from the sun here so we don't get all the benefits from the flowers and things. So that's the end of this little walk. Thanks for watching guys and catch you on the next one.